everybody. Hello. What's going on? How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Here's what happened. I made a video last night, but then I didn't upload it because I just, I didn't like the energy. It was kind of like, um, low, way too low energy. And I was, nah, I just didn't like the video. So I didn't upload. It was a Timu haul and I, yeah, I didn't upload it, but the highlights of last night's haul, I'll show you. Um, they were, first of all, this delightfully obnoxious in an 80s kind of way, hot pink leopard print cardigan, which goes way down, like falls at about half, well, I'm five, seven. So it falls at about halfway to my half, at my thighs, so I was able to wear it with leggings. So that was exciting. And then I got a couple of crosses for my wall, but they turned out to be cheesy. This one looked like, of course, it was layered in the picture. And for some ridiculous reason, I thought it was layered in the picture, like three dimensions like this, or you're even four, but no, it's just flimsy thin wood with painted on there. It looks really cheesy and it's got this hook. And then equally this one, I thought this was, why did I think it was carved wood? Like really, what was I thinking really? But it's my favorite Psalm, Psalm 4610, um, be still and know that I am God. So I like this and I was going to hang these up some over there with my other crosses, but I... Don't I don't think I'm gonna be hanging this one up. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. They're they're fine. They're just not. This one I like the colors in this one, and the colors kind of go with my elephant back there, a little bit, kind of. <laughs> so those were in that haul, and then another main thing that was in that haul was this really great St. Patrick's Day T-shirt. It's a men's T-shirt. And it's got cats all over it celebrating St. Patrick's Day. Hopefully you can see it. That one has a little hat on. They all have little hats on, don't they? Let's see. I don't know. I can't see really what I'm showing you. There's one at the bottom that's really excited. And then the back of it has got this shamrock on it. And... Um, it's for a guy and it's a little bit shiny, but not, it's not really shiny, but yeah, it's a little bit shiny. I think it's probably 95% polyester and 5% spandex and it's white on the inside. You guys know some of the things that get on my nerves or if you're new to my channel, hi, thank you for being new to my channel. I appreciate it. I hope you stick around and subscribe. We try to have a lot of fun here. And if we don't, sometimes I just don't upload it. Um, I'm a diva like that. This is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So I got that. And then another thing I got that was cute, Percy in the back there judging me, Percy the cat, was this Easter bunny. Now he came in a set of three, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, but I just got this one also because it looks like he's giggling, giggling, and so there's that one as well, so those are kind of like the only, and then I, I, there's just a bunch of stupid little jewelry in there and things like that, so that's so hauling, that's summing up an hour-long haul in four minutes and 22 seconds. So there you go. But I do have this giant bag right here. I will upload this video no matter what. Even if I hate it, I'm still going to upload it. So sorry I did that last night. I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. And the inner voice just said no. So I listened to the inner voice and I decided not to upload it. And I watched Prison Break on Hulu instead. Prison Break is one of my all-time favorite, one of my all-time favorite TV shows. 
Prison Break, Game of Thrones, Breaking Bad. Um, there are a bunch of other ones, but those are the three that are kind of at the top of my list. But I always, I love watching Prison Break. It's like my comfort TV. Okay, the first thing in this giant bag, and what happened to me today? I just, I went to work. I did the thing. I came home. It's Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Get off early on Wednesdays, so I'm home opening Timu stuff with you. So that's fun. Okay, this this is, um, okay, so I'm starting to look at bags for, if you're new to my channel, hey, I'm going to Japan in a couple of months as a birthday present to myself. I'm going for about 10 days and I'm starting to look at travel things on Timu and I'm starting to look at carry-on bags in particular. And I thought this had potential because we're, we can only bring one suitcase and one carry-on bag. And I like it. I like the fact that at the bottom is a whole separate compartment down here. Underneath it. And then there is a little pouch on the back that you can also slip over your rolling suitcase handle and put stuff in it, which I like. Like if you're going through um, security or whatever, you could throw your uh, passport and other IDs in here and just get them out this way rather than rooting around in like a purse or another carry-on bag for them. Don't leave them in there though, then put them somewhere safe. And then on the inside, um, um, I don't know why I'm saying um so many times. There's another zippered pocket in here. It's very roomy in here and it's got some slip pockets that are fairly good size in this side. And then of course it's got a carrying strap. So yeah, and it's cute. It's a cute color and it's got some potential. So we'll put that in the pile, the literal, it's turning into a pile of possible carry-on bags for my trip. Now I got my flight itinerary today. Man, woo! Trying to get from where I live, which is down south to Japan. Holy cow, man. I'm going, literally going to the ends of the earth, kind of. Literally, kind of. I'm going from, I, I think I fly from here to Denver. And then I've got about almost a two hour layover in Denver. And then I have an, like an 11 hour and 45 minute flight to Tokyo from there. And then on the way home, I go from Osaka to, I think San Francisco, where I have a three and a half hour layover. I like long layovers because it gives me a lot of time to get to my next date and hang around in the bar and do whatever. But 11 hours, holy cow, holy cow. And then from San Francisco, I think I fly to Houston. And then from Houston, I fly here. It's just crazy. It's going to be crazy traveling. So, ah, uh, but at least it felt good to look at. I'm on a plane. I got a plane ticket. So, Yahoo, that's done. My passport came in the mail yesterday. I had to get it renewed. And I was a little worried about that. I paid for the whole expedited processing and expedited shipping and all the expedited things. So, passport came in the mail yesterday. I got a new credit card in the mail yesterday. Now, I don't like having credit cards or a lot of them. I am, um, before he got to be kind of a pain in the, like, I don't know what happened to Dave Ramsey. He ended up being like a nice guy and now he's kind of loud and obnoxious and stuff, but I am a graduate of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and I'm trying to get this out. I don't know what this is. And I, I yeah, I don't like credit cards, but I did want to have a credit card, of course, over in 
over there, either a MasterCard or a Visa in case of emergencies or whatever. So that came in the mail yesterday. I am excited about this and I hope it's not broken. Okay, first, let me tell you about that bag. That bag, I paid $12.74 for that bag, and it is now $11.89. And Timu did refund me the difference, uh, which was nice of them. And if you don't know how to do that, just every day go into your orders and open each order and see if at the bottom of your screen you see a little button that says price adjustment. And if the price of what you bought has gone down, Timu will give you back the difference. And in my case, it will only give it back to me as credit toward a future purchase. But some people I hear can get it back to their original payment method, which is cool. But I like those credits. Uh, gives me an excuse to shop. I love this little girl. I thought she was just gorgeous. This fairy, woodland fairy beautiful hold her way up there she's got beautiful wings that look like leaves and she's like a woodland nymph she's got her little you know tree growing out of her head and she's just a little forest creature and let's fluff this out a little bit smile hello i don't know me, Percy, the chill pills. So I love her very much and I'm very happy that she is not broken. And the little wrecking ball is sitting on the floor looking up at me. So I expect that we will see him. That would be my little cat, Loki. And I think we will see him any minute now. The little um, one piece dryad, I'm sorry, uh, was nine dollars and it is sold out but there she is from another seller for eight dollars and 77 cents so she's still out there on the timu website and there she is from up oh, he came in like a wrecking ball it's a blackout there goes loki on the move okay 831 there she is from another seller. So, yeah, I mean, she's easy to find on Timu. It's $7.27 from another seller. Oh, there's a really pretty one. Oh, stop shopping. Wow, that's really pretty. Oh, she got a little baby. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to just sit there and st Are my glasses on? I'll show you what I'm saying. Wow, I, I think she's looking at a little bird. I don't know. There's another one. She's standing. She's got something in her womb-like. I don't know what's going on with her, but that's kind of an interesting one. Okay. All right. So we did that. What was I talking about? Flying? Japan? Passport? Credit cards? I don't know. <laughs> But things are falling into place, knock on wood. <laughs> I'm afraid if I talk about it too much, I'll jinx it. Okay, this looks like a laundry pouch. Now, I don't remember ordering. Oh, this is six-piece travel storage bag set that I got for $4.58. And it is now $5.37. And it has, you put these, you divide everything up and you put these in your suitcase when you're packing. And it has this over here. So the first one is, it says travel on it. Okay, so the first thing and they just get smaller and smaller, I think. They help you compartmentalize all your stuff in your suitcase. And I watched a little video that came with them. And the guy made packing look so easy when he did it. So here's the first thing. So you can fill this up with whatever, roll them up, zip it, place it perfectly in a square. 
In your suitcase here is a laundry pouch. Travel. Um, here's another laundry pouch, or you can put, you know, delicates in there or whatever you want. Because here's another pouch. So three little pouches that you can put really, yeah, laundry or underwear, socks, whatever, so it doesn't get... Here's another little compartmentalized little... What it help me, container? Where are my words? I seem to have left my words at work. I had to write a lot today. I'm a little bit tired. A lot of writing. So there's another one that goes in your suitcase. And then finally, here's another one that goes in your suitcase. So, wow. But for $4.50, that's pretty good deal. I don't know if I'm going to use those or not, but... And here's kind of an idea of how much each one will hold when your suitcase is packed. And then you just place them in your suitcase like this. So 537, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, where am I gonna put all these now? Just leave them right here for now. Put them there. Put this on the floor. I'll put it here. Good Lord, I was t talking, I was texting, hauling it with Mima the other day. And we exchanged photos of our Timu filled rooms, meaning bedrooms with like piles and piles of Timu stuff everywhere. Mine won for being the worst. But I did feel better that somebody else out there has the same problem that I have, which is too many things. Okay, the next thing in here, really, I, the other bag is downstairs, you guys. This, this is one of those bags that just has a few big things in it. And just one order, which is nice, but I don't know how long of a video. It's only been 17 minutes. I might stop it and go downstairs and get the other one that's down there and then put splice it together in iMovie. Okay, I'm trying to get this thing out. Okay, never mind. The first thing that is, I found an Easter Bunny driver's license. Now... This is funny to carry as your ID, and then if you get pulled over, hand this to the police officer. Here's my license officer. Um, it says, issued to Easter Bunny, who lives on 123 Carrot Lane, Easter Island, Hop Hop. Eyes chocolate brown, hair fluffy, weight full of treats. Luna! Height... 3.5 3 carats. Now, Luna? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. It's a Luna verse. Luna, be careful. I just put that down there as trash. Okay, and it says this license is valid nationwide rules. Treats to be delivered Easter morning. Eggs to be very well hidden. No foot thumping inside, be sure children are sleeping. What happens if you scan this? Is it a trap? Will it immediately put a virus on my phone? Here, I'm gonna scan it, you guys. Oh, Luna, oh Lord. Luna, what are you doing, my love? I love you so much. Okay, let's see. Where's my little QR scanner thingamabop? It's right here. Okay, scan it. There it is. Scan it, dude. Find a code to scan. I'm okay there. All right, now it says search web. Oh, there's no website. It's just a fake um, 
thing, okay? That's how you get a virus on your phone. Don't ever do that. Don't just scan random QR codes like I just did. That's really like a big no-no. No, no. Okay, but anyway. All right, get back. So the license, I don't know what I paid for that because that's in another order. And they actually told me that that was so sold out that they couldn't get it for me. But apparently they found it and they just stuck it in this. There it is in another order. What did I pay for that driver's license? I paid. Sold out. 169 is what another seller has it for. And I paid 97 cents for that. Okay, so Easter Bunny driver's license. Cool. Now let me get back to the order that we were on. Get back to where you once belonged. All right, we're getting back to where we once belonged. Oops. Whoops. I'm a little sleepy. I could close my eyes right now and be out like a light, like for, for, for the night. Okay, put this in this box right here with the rest of this trash. I heard from my doctor's office today about my blood test results. It said my thyroid is basically non-functional. Now, it looked to me, um, when I looked at them, like my thyroid levels were fine. They weren't in red or anything like that. But the nurse said, so we called in something for you called Synthroid. She left this message in hell. No, don't get me started on Synthroid. Now, listen, I had to take Synthroid. So... My thyroid hormones are weird. They were off, but then they were fine. And then they were all screwed up again. But then for a while, they were fine. And I guess they're all screwed up again. But no, I tried taking Synthroid once or Levothyroxine or whatever the generic name of it is. My face blew up like a moon, literally like a moon face. And my hair fell out in huge clumps. That's why I'm still trying to grow it back. And I got really weak and sick and awful. It felt like um, just I was taking poison every morning and nauseous. It was horrible. And... I, so then they adjusted the dose and they kept adjusting the dose and adjusting the dose and that never worked out. So then they finally sent me to an endocrinologist who said, well, maybe you need to take the name brand because the generic has fillers in it, but no, that didn't work. And then I just said, forget it. I'm not taking this stuff anymore. I'd rather just be tired and whatever else is wrong with not having a working thyroid, then take this stuff. There's got to be something besides. And then they tried that that thing that was extracted from a pig. Like there's another medication, um, Nate, Nate, I don't know what, I forgot what it's called. Wait, let me talk about this for a minute. This is a cosmetics case. And no, I would not take this on a trip. It's too bulky. But I would totally use it at home. Look at it. This is awesome. It's a beautiful rose gold. It's got this really pretty pattern. Oh, I did change my nails. And um, I don't like this color. I don't like it. It's a little trashy and loud for me. At least on mine. I don't like the shade of red. But I paid $14.23 for this mini... 14-inch um, makeup box, and I like it. I like it. I like it. This is where I might put all my for real makeup. It even has feet, which is cool, and it's got two zippers, which I like. So good. That's cool. I like that a lot. So anyway, yeah, I just finally, after all this trial and error with all these different medicine medicines, I just. Uh-uh. So when the nurse left that message again, I was like, did you not remember? I didn't expect her to, rem to remember because it was three years ago when I had the Synthroid problem. But um, I'm like, I am not going through that again. 
surely there's uh, got to be some kind of supplements I can take or something uh, the, besides Synthroid for my thyroid. I don't know. Let me know if you have had any luck with anything for your thyroid besides levothyroxine or Synthroid or the one that comes from a pig or whatever. Okay, it's still fourteen twenty three, and you can get it in 10, 10 different colors. And they're all really pretty. There's a champagne gold color that's really pretty and beautiful. Okay, now I also got this giant, it's huge, mirror set. No, just one mirror, and it, they're in my car. But, like, it's one of these. And they really are this big to go on your wall. Holy cow, I had no idea. And that's still out in my car. And I have got to get it out. It came separately for 23. It's now 23.39 and I paid 18.19 for it. And I've got to get that in here and hang it up for real, like a seriously hang it up, not just slap it up on the wall with double-sided tape. For those of you who remember um, the show, so somebody was looking at something of mine, some pattern of something I was showing and said, oh, this is probably before your time, but this reminds me of a show called Laughin', Rowan and Martin's Laughin', Laugh-In that used to be on. And no, it's not only is that not before my time, but Joanne Worley on that, she's a comedian on Laugh from Laughin'. She is my dad's cousin. So, yeah, she's part of the family. In fact, I saw her about three years ago, I think. And she was touring and she happened to be here and went backstage, gave her a big hug. And it was great to see her again. She's really funny. So, yeah, I'm, I know I totally know Laughin and I love Joanne Worley. She's hilarious. These are two, these are really interesting earrings that are like a hammered looking kind of gold wonky looking hoop with a little pearl sitting in it and I now I'm wearing these ridiculous hearts yes with pills hanging off of them they don't have the same design on the back they match my happy pearl necklace that I got this necklace from HRH collection on YouTube not Timu, but I got these some long time ago from Timu. I wouldn't be able to find them. Please don't ask me for the link to these pill earrings because I couldn't find them if I tried. I imagine they'd be cute for pharmacists to wear, but for just someone like me to wear, just like pills hanging from my ears. <laughs> I don't know, but I did today. I wore them to work with my funky pink leopard sweater and white t-shirt thing and leggings and so here are these and if I were to put these on um yeah they'd look interesting mm-hmm so there's that so this thumbnail for this video I might actually use one that I took last night holding up that bunny so it'll be strange because you'll be like, wait a minute, she's wearing some totally different thing in this picture. But I don't know if I have anything I can use for a thumbnail. I think this is all stuff like jewelry, jewelry, and stuff I can travel with. And I don't know. Did I say cheese with the little woodland um, dryad? Okay, this is... Oh gosh, it's a fortune telling deck. It's an oracle deck. But um it is an oracle deck. I didn't realize for an oracle card deck for couples. So and the that's an oracle deck isn't really like 
tarot cards, you just pull out a card and it will have either a word or a symbol or something to kind of, it's like a horoscope really for the day if you're into horoscopes. And if you're not, that's totally okay. But, or it's a way if you're meditating or whatever and you kind of want to a theme or you're trying to, you know, get in touch with your deep inner self and you need a guiding card. Some people will use this and meditate on it or whatever. I don't, <clears throat> I don't take them that seriously. I'm trying to get the plastic off of them. Almost just cut off my whole hand right there though. That would have been awkward. And I wonder if I would have uploaded that. I didn't like the energy. I didn't like the energy in that. So I decided not to upload that. Okay, so for instance, if I pull out one of these telepathy oracle cards, if we can get it open without breaking off a nail, just pick a card, any card, just it really, you should have a question in your mind when you draw a card. And I pulled Link. And it says, the bond of love grows stronger over time. See, this is really meant for couples. And the more I looked at them after I had ordered this, and I was looking at my orders, trying to find orders that like were on the way or whatever... I looked at this in this order and I thought, now wait a minute. This one is indication. Watch for signs that lead you to true love. Okay. All right. So anyway, um, yeah, just deep deep thoughts and and that caught these cost four dollars and four I paid 449 for these and they are now 498 and now I'm trying to get these back in here so I can close it I don't want to get a paper cut with one of these ow that would hurt oh well forget it you can just kind of close it or you know what? We don't need to close it right now. We have all night to close it. Okay. So that was different. But I do appreciate the way they packed them in bubble wrap. Oh no, now listen to this. I got what I thought was going to be a festive Easter egg shaped pillow for $4.98. And I, of course, did not read as usual. And I saw these. And then I saw this picture. And I went, wow, I want a pillow like that. And what the description says is Easter shaped egg type throw pillow case, one piece, pillow insert not included. Now I know I could just run to the Walmart and buy some stuffing and stuff this thing. It's really soft and velvety. So it's, oh, it's really soft. But it is shaped like a little egg, and you stuff it with polyfill or whatever, and then you have a pillow. Am I going to be motivated enough to do that? I, I doubt it. I doubt it. Four ninety eight for that. All right. How are we doing on time? Thirty four minutes. Next, there's a little box. And what could this be? My old lady back is throbbing. Okay. I have 
a standing desk. I think I've said that to you guys before. I've told you guys before about my standing desk. And I'm supposed to be used sitting and standing alternately, you know, throughout the day for my health. And I rarely ever use it in standing mode, which is part of the problem. I need to be standing a little bit sometimes. Let me fix this. I'm trying to fix it, so... Okay, ooh, I look like I need a nap, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm trying to figure out now how you open this. Open it like this. Okay, sorry. There's like an awkward silence while I sit here and try to open this box. I'm still trying to get it open. Oh, it's another blind box. It's another Toki Doki blind box. Oh, when will I stop gambling? Call 1-800-QUIT-GAMBLING. Okay, so this is another Lunar New Year Toki Doki. I'm still trying to get this one unicorn I've tried, this will be the fourth and last, and I say that every time, the fourth and last time that I try to get this one unicorn out of this blind box. A blind box is when you don't know what's inside of it. I mean, you know what's inside of it, but you don't know what the specific design or pattern is. I paid $9.49 for this, and it is now sold out, okay? Okay. All right, I saw they came up again, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to try it one more time. They do have the seal of authenticity on it, which I don't think my other boxes had that on it. I can't remember. And the Toki Doki unicorn that I got this time. Now, the one I want. Right here it is. Here it is. And the one that I want is this, let's see if I can get it. This little one called Sea Green. That's the one I want. Or, you know, Tranquilis, that one's kind of cool too. And what are the rest? Firecracker, Hongbao, Marmalade and Festiva. Please just don't let me get Marmalade again. I've gotten Marmalade twice. She's orange. And I don't know. And I did something bad, you guys. I got my Tokyo Treat box, snack box in the mail and I had been waiting and waiting and waiting to open it on camera. But one night I was just so hungry for a snack that I opened my Tokyo treat box. And I'm sorry, I ate the Tokyo treats and it was Sakura festival themed. So it was all like um, matcha and Sakura flavored cookies and yeah, little cookies and then some honey flavored potato chips. And the Kit Kat of the month was matcha latte. All right, here we go. Ready? Dun, dun. I'm going to feel around. Can I feel a tail? I think I can feel a tail. No! I got tangerine again! Oh! Now I have three of them. Just stop! Forget it. I'm done. I'm done. Really? Of all of them, I got Tangerine again. Bless her heart. It's okay. I'm sorry. So Tangerine has got a little Tangerine in her mane. She's got a little red envelope, Lunar New Year envelope in her mouth. She's got little Tangerines there, green tail and yeah leaves in her mane. I mean, she's cute, but I've got, this is the third one I've gotten now. They always do that. They have one that's just ultra common that you will get over and over again. All right. Well, we did that. 
put this over here. I need a big bag. Okay, now the next thing in here is a Loki. Here comes Loki, 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 Loki. Look, what are you doing? Hi, Loki. Loki, we don't really have a lot of room. Can you lie down? Can you lie down, Loki? Loki, no, Loki. He's getting in that bag. Okay, we got a Loki in that bag. Loki, no. Loki. Oh, he's totally laying down in it. I'm sorry, lying down in it. Okay, this is, speaking of unicorns, this is a beautiful unicorn brooch made in China, but I liked it a lot and it kept popping up in my feed like over and over and over again. Finally, I said, okay, it was $1.98 and it is now sold out, but now I see other sellers selling it for $1.98 too. So yeah. All right. So there was that. There was that. Can I have a kiss? No. Where are you going now? Where are you going now? Now the next thing in here is something round. Loki, where are you going? And I liked it. I thought it was pretty. It is a pink jeweled diamond hanger that you put like on your bathroom wall and you hang your necklaces off of it, off it, or your scrunchies or whatever you want to hang that'll fit on these little knobs and here's the screw and all the stuff in case you want to screw it but it does have adhesive back here and it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be I thought it would be bigger that's all right and that cost what just happened what just happened that I paid two forty eight for that, and it's now two forty eight again. And yeah, it looks really pretty. You can also get it in blue or clear, and it looks like this. S sit up, stretch out neck. I don't know, like here's a picture of it with stuff hanging off of it. Okay, so I like that a lot. This is a bag. Okay, next in here is a little box of rose push pins. Aren't they cute? I have tulips, so I don't think I have roses. I'm not sure. Or I might have bought this again. I might have already had it, but I don't think so. And 20 pack of flowers, push pins. I paid $3.98 for them. And they're still $3.98. But I did get price adjustments on them. So there they are in their box and I'm not gonna take them out because they're gonna spill, but yeah, they're pretty to use as push pins. I'm excited about those. Pink, pink, pink. Okay, and then now we are down to the last thing and it is actually another four piece compression luggage pack. And it hmm all right it's got a handle but it's got zippers all over the place like I'm trying to figure out what's going on 
Okay, and then inside there are a bunch of them. Well, I guess there are three of them. Okay, so let's just take out one. Here's one. And I don't... Okay, so you can unzip it so it expands a little bit. No. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Just hold up. Hold up while I figure it out. Okay, I'm unzipping this this one. And it's not doing anything. Like it's, okay. Oh, it did this. It made a square, okay. All right, so there you go. You can put things in here and zip this up. There's this one. Then there is, I'm not gonna do it to all of them. This one is another one. Then there is another one. They're all the same size. It's interesting, except, wait, wait, here's a tiny one. Little tiny one. Hmm. I'm still kind of fascinated with all of this. Okay. I unzipped it. Unzipped it. Okay, yes. Now it's a square. Because you unzip that. So it expands out into a rectangle. I'm sorry. <laughs> square, rectangle, whatever. And then you put your stuff in it and then you zip it closed. With this one, okay, that's nifty. $8.39 for those, and they are $13.99. I think I got them in a spin the wheel deal, and they are not all the same size. They actually are slight, one is slightly smaller than the other, and then they look like. I think the video was what sold me on them. Okay. What's the matter? Why are you crying? Whoops. So before and then here's after. And I imagined my suitcase packed like that. And I thought, oh, wouldn't that be nice? I'm sure I'll be able to do it just like that too. Okay, that is my order. And I did have someone say to me, how in the world could I spend this kind of money on junk when people out there are starving and I could be giving it to charity instead? And my answer to that person is, you have no idea how much I give to charity, which is quite a lot. And not only do I give to charity, I participate in a lot of volunteer activities. So don't worry about my money. It's fine. Yes, people who need it are getting some of it, but I also need to keep this channel going too. And I try not to get junk. I try to get things that I'll, I will use. Although, as we know, sometimes it does turn out to be junk. And I donate that stuff to the veterans who come around and pick it up once a month or whenever you call them. And they actually then sell it to thrift stores and things. And then they use the money to help veterans. Um, veterans and then Operation Smile is my charity of choice. And I often go on Amazon and pull up the wish lists of our women's shelter here in the city and send them tons of stuff on their wish list. So I'm not saying what a great person I am. I am reassuring the person who said to me, how can you be spending all this money on stuff when you could be giving it to charity? I do give quite a bit to people who need it. 
it really upset me when I read that comment, but it's been a few days and I'm over it now. And um, that person is blocked now. Blocked? Yes, blocked. I, I just don't, you know, the preachy lectures about stuff like, why are you watching? Why are you watching me haul a bunch of stuff? And if also, if you suggest, there's somebody who keeps telling me in every video that I should get a pixie cut. I don't want a pixie cut. And that's another person who's about to get blocked. <laughs> as irrational as that sounds. I, if I read one more time a comment that says, you, sh you need to get a pixie cut. I can't. I can't read that anymore. Like, I dread looking at my comments because of a few people, and the pixie cut person is one of them. I don't want a pixie cut. No, I would not look good with a pixie cut. I have a very strong-looking face. It's very, I mean, without makeup, I could probably pass for a dude, you know, because of my hairline and everything, and... No, I don't want a pixie cut. Are you and I don't do bangs, and it's not like I don't do bangs. It's my hair is too thin to do bangs. And I have a cowlick right here. Can't believe I'm like explaining all this stuff. I have a cowlick right here that literally keeps this part of my hair from going down. So even if I wanted bangs, this one, as you can see, which is bang length, would stick straight up, which it does every day anyway. So no, I'm sorry. I know everybody wants me to get bangs. No, I can't. I can't get bangs. Meaning physically, it's impossible for me to have bangs. All right, we're done. I've talked to many hairstylists about bangs and they're like, we just can't. We can't. All right. Okay, I got that off my chest. The energy is bad. Maybe I won't upload this one either. Just kidding, I'll upload it. I'm sorry it wasn't very exciting and it wasn't funny and it wasn't anything. It was just a haul for a change, a smooth, mellow haul. But, you know, we tried and it can't, it can't always be a laugh riot and... I can't always have a bunch of cool things. What did I like the most? I like the Woodland Nymph or Dryad. And um, my nose is getting stuffed up. I'm so upset. Did I pose with her already? What else is in the back? Okay. She's... Stop doing that with the eyebrows. She's... All right, trying that again. And I really liked the Easter Bunny, Driver's License, Class Hop one. All right, that's another attempt at a thumbnail picture. And now I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And thank you for your support of this channel. Thank you for your kind comments down below. And thank you for hitting a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I appreciate that too, more than you know, because that lets YouTube know that real people are engaging with my videos. So thank you for doing that. And I will see you soon. I'll see you tomorrow probably because I have a huge bag downstairs that I need to open. I'll probably do it tomorrow. All right. So... Now we say, how do I stop this thing? How do I stop?